This is the E3 M3 Pandemonium. I am gonna save it. Lots of skulls. Gotcha. Alright, those are that's dead. Got you guys. I'm gonna go this way. Start off. This much fun playing like OG Doom. Is ain't much of a secret area. <laughs> I got the VOG, motherfucker. It's out. I should have got that far went in there, but yeah, okay, whatever. Anybody? Energy cell. Yeah, it's just a full acid. This, this is a secret area? Not very much of a secret. here now. It's like the only area I haven't been in in this level. Oh! Oh, free shotgun ammo. Let's go. Okay. I'm gonna pick up... Ooh! Ammo, cool, okay, cool. Oh, 
Oh, it's just a switch. It looks like it's another doorway. Okay. Need to go down to the cross. Up here. Okay, I got blue key. That's something. We got blue key. Alright, that's leading me up to where that super armor is. Or not. Go this way. More shotgun shells? I guess they know that. Oh, hello. Ah, you bitch. Okay, so that's... That's an area of no passing. Where do I go? That's clever. Alright, let's, uh, let's get back on the ground. Go this way. Oh, free shotgun. More ammo. More ammo. You guys are just being so generous with the ammo. Uh, let's go up into the right. Where where you came from? Okay, so up and to the left is okay. This area I haven't been in before. It's the same. Okay, so I go up to here, open this door. I have not been up here. What is? Oh, I got a map. Oh, super armor! Nice. Alright, so yeah, we just continue on this way. Done! It ain't so bad! Okay, so we've beaten there, there, and there. Now we are in the House of Pain. Track for this game is awesome. I don't have to trust that teleporter yet. Anything through here? Nope. Okay. That's right, Pixel Junkie. The Demon's gonna learn today. Nope. It had four chapters, but I thought this up. Ah, not too much. Just enjoying some good old Doom. I probably beat the, this one and the last one. Beat the whole game today. Draw out the uh, uh, VOD with Google Chrome and then start editing that uh, tomorrow. Put it on YouTube. Heck, I still got videos going through August from there. <laughs> but how are you today? This way. Ew. 
Uh, I would say yeah. Old School Doom holds a special place in my heart. I did play the new uh, 2016 Doom, and God, if it's not an ADHD fever dream, it's torment for somebody with ADHD, man. There's literally people coming out of the woodworks, every, out of every, you know, left, right, up, or up, down, corner. I mean, it's like, oh, ah! <laughs> But I beat it. It was good. It was real good. Just like, ah! But it was so good. I'll do it. So good, just finish some dinner, check out some retro peeps. Oh, I love retro games, man. That's what I'm all about. That and, uh, that and Souls games. But I'm mostly going to be doing retro on here because Souls games are kind of like my escape for the day. But retro games are my bread and butter. I love them. To me, they just, they build better memories than the new stuff that's out there now. Because you can... Doom 3? I never played it. I probably will at some point. Do I have it? Oh, well, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Uh, do I have it right I think I have it on the computer. I think it's on my Steam. This is on GOG. I just recently bought a whole bunch more uh, games on on GOG too. Oh, baby, you got on something. I've heard bad things about it, but I reserve the right to judge it myself. Mainly because I play many games that, um, that, you know, people say, oh, the game's terrible, but I actually really enjoy it. Like, Eternal Darkness on the GameCube, for example. Eternal Darkness Sanity's Requiem is one of, it's easily my second favorite game of all time. And so many people never played it. But I recommend to everybody that says, oh, well, I want to try a GameCube game, try this one. So it's just got magic, it's got combat, it's got it's so much fun to it. And you can play so many different characters over timelines, use all kinds of spells that are really fun. There's our these pinkies off way too far back. Turn this down a little bit. But they're they're uh putting those pinkies way too far back. But I, any kind of retro game I absolutely love. I have several Elgatos. I can actually show some of them. Like I have this one here. I have two of those. I have a HD60 and an HD60 Plus S Plus. And I'm going to be a uh, favorite console, PS2. PS2 hands down. Because I could do PS1, PS2, and it had some of the most memorable games of my childhood. Although GameCube is a very, very close second. Xbox was really good. It didn't have as many exclusives that I really enjoyed. But I won't knock it. The PS2 and then uh, GameCube. Oh, SNES, hell yeah. Hell yeah. I don't know, I don't think you can see it. I have a whole shelf behind me with a bunch of game, a uh, bunch of games, and uh, a bunch of them are SNES. And, uh, actually I was gonna do uh, one of those for my next game. Uh, which is gonna be Mickey and Minnie the Great Circus Mystery. If you've never played that, it's a lot of fun. You can play it with a friend, and it's just a silly, fun game. Favorite SNES game? Ooh. Mega Man X. You'll get to see it if you tune in, or even if you watch the VOD, you'll get a chance to watch it. It's not a very long game, it's like five levels, but it's really fun. I love it so much. Mega Man X, because it was just so much fun. And, uh,. I beat it when I was really sick for the first time. I have that recording up on YouTube, so there's like no talking because my throat was sore as crap. But um, second favorite would have to be oh, Mickey and Minnie would have to be my second favorite. Yeah, the final boss is a royal pain in the ass. Um, S Sigma. The first round when you fight the cat, fire's the best. 
for his second form. I believe it's Stink Chameleon. And then third is the uh, Armadillo Roll ability. For when he turns into the robot and you're crunched in walls and stuff. Use the um, Armadillo ability. Mario All-Stars. That was the first console game I ever had. Was Mario All-Stars and Mario World. I want to bring those and show those off to you at some point. Uh, Earthbound, I never got a chance to play. But I think I have it on... Uh, on that little SNES mini that we get, that we got. It's on there. It does take a lot of hits. You need to get like every upgrade that you can possibly get. I can actually... I know where every single upgrade is. But I never... I vowed never to use the Hadouken because it's too cheap, in my opinion. <sighs> That's not a bad trade-off. Um. Okay, so I need to go straight ahead, take a right, and go through to the blue. Oh, I went to the blue door. I came from that way. So we need to go straight, right, back through, and then through those two doors at the end. But the game is so much fun. It has one of the best soundtracks. I challenge you tonight to look up uh, Mega Man X metal covers. Dude, some of those are the best songs I have ever heard with my ears. For real. There's a guy who does a hit. Some of them, his name's... Uh, let's see if I can type, type his name in the chat. You can look him up on YouTube. Toxic... It won't let me type. Jules is one of them. Uh, but his name's Toxic Eternity. Uh, I think he might have done a collaboration with him, but I'm not sure. But he's one of the best. He just does guitar and just, oh, so good. But Jules is really good, too. But I have some of those even on my phone. Actually, I'll show you here. Um, YouTube. That's Jules playing right there. But uh, I don't know if you can see it. The top one is his uh, octopus cover of Launch Octopus. I mean, the one for Flame Mammoth was fantastic as well. Alright, let's go. <laughs> let's get back to this so I don't like keep skipping out on here. Okay, so that's not actually anything. Okay, that's nothing there. Uh, uh, let's go back to the blue door. It shows that there's two doors here. Doom custom maps? No, I haven't. This is actually my first time completing the OG Doom. Uh, in fact. Like, there's no door there, unless I'm missing something. Am I missing something in here that I just didn't see? Because I only ever had the uh, the shareware version of Doom back when I was a kid. And, uh, oh. Okay, there we go. Lots of mods and maps I recently discovered like a year ago. Oh, dude, that's cool. I mean, the old school games, people are flocking back to retro games in droves. Because I think everybody's kind of tired of the new stuff. I mean, I'm not trying to knock Call of Duty, but they release the same stuff, like, every single time. It's just a different, like, it's like a different flavor of ice cream, but, you know, it's still ice cream. You feel me? That's basically what I feel about the current game market. But I mean, there are good games, don't get me wrong. There are some dang good games out there right now, but... Eh. Most of them just... They don't build memories like these do. Okay, so I got yellow. Uh... 
shows us a door here. Okay, I think I can only open one of these at a time. Red key to open that door. Okay, so that's a red key. Ashes 2063. Fallout and Doom combined. Ooh, I am a Fallout boy. I don't know if you can see my tattoo on my arm, but it is the Vault, vault Boy. So, yes, I am a huge, huge, huge Fallout fan. I mean, one of the biggest, I don't know, let's say I'm one of the biggest, but I'm a pretty big follow fan. Okay, this opens up to a yellow door. Okay, that has the red key. So let's go back here. Um. Uh, is it this one? Gosh darn it. I'm trying not to cuss so much. It's, I tell you what, it's a hard thing to do. But I love FPSs. Uh, one of the more recent ones that I did for YouTube was Wolfenstein 3D. I would too. I'm having a hard time with it because I cuss like a sailor. Like legit, I cuss like a sailor. So yeah, I, I, I don't, I don't think I'm gonna succeed. But uh, okay. So there's that. Okay. So we need to go back down. And open up one of the doors. <laughs> Go to your happy place, yeah. Why won't you get in your home? Don't you like your home? <laughs> yeah, I haven't watched Happy Gilmore in forever. Oh my word. That was such a good movie. Such a good movie. You just got knocked out by Bob Barker. Shit. <laughs> Alright, um. Yeah, that's when his. That's when his movies weren't sad. I mean, they're all like depressive movies nowadays. Although that was it. The one where he played with the chick from, uh. What was it? Uh. Oh, hello. When he played with the one chick who was on Friends, that was a good one. That was a very good one. Okay, so that's good. Click was really good, but have you seen the one where he plays with the girl from Friends? Because I'm telling you, it's actually pretty good. Now, uh, not 50 first dates. Oh, hi, Pixel Man 86. Uh, oh, it's not 50 first dates. That's, uh, Drew Barrymore. Uh, I can't remember what it was. Funny people, that was horrible. That, that was abysmal. Um, uh, yeah, I'm trying to remember it now, but I can't remember it. Jennifer Aniston, that's her name. He played it with Jen Jennifer Aniston. Where did you guys come from? Uh, yeah, you're absolutely right about that. Oh, come on. That's closing. Okay, um, is it this one? There's got to be something here. Because there's one door there. I'm thinking that's the exit, but I don't know how to open it. Hmm. Oh, I 
tried them. I tried them all. Um, that's back in the beginning. I don't think it's there. I'm lost on what to do here. Okay. Okay, that's just that. Yeah, the map is not great. It doesn't really explain, like, anything. Huh. That's where we came in. I know it's through that door, I just don't know how to get there. <clears throat> There's gotta be something really stupid. I could have gone through it the whole time? That, that sounds about right. That's our touch tracks. Yep, it was the exit. I was right about that. Anyway. Alright, we're, we're about halfway through. We're now entering the unholy cathedral. Let's just uh let's just forget about that. That uh, that never happened. Okay, so we got two doors. Open one. Creepy church. Um, let's go far left. Go far left first. I'm gonna whip out the shotgun. Okay, so that just... They all lead to the same corridor there. Alright, got rid of that guy. Let's go around. Okay, ooh! I said something. Now we got some health if we need it. Okay. I don't know if my stream schedule is down there, but I will be back on Friday after tonight. Yeah, they take about six, seven shotgun shells. They're pretty high level demons, so I can't really complain. Oh. I think he's taking about three if you get up, two or three. Depending on how well you aim. Okay, so this does open, just don't know. Don't know how. <laughs> okay. Oh, hello! Ah. Balls. Ah, I got my health back, that's fine. How many punches it takes? That's a good question. More than likely, you'll find the answer out online, because, you know, freaking internet knows everything. Okay, so we're in this big courtyard. I do have a... We're back in the middle. Uh, we did find that yellow key, so... Alright, grab all these clips, and it's over here? Okay, I'm looking right at it. Okay, I got the chainsaw, but it's not really that useful. I mean, it's an iconic weapon, yes. But it ain't really that useful. Damn it. Back in the middle again. Huh. Oh, okay, I think I know what I need to do. Um, 
Am I essentially trapped here? Nope, there's doors over here? Yeah. Nope. Is it these windows that it's talking about? Okay, I don't know about that then. Huh. Oh. Ah! Jerk. Okay, so... I'm not getting anywhere doing this. It's just gonna keep teleporting me back. Huh. There's gotta be, like, something I'm missing something I'm not really thinking about here huh. oh it's somewhere different all right I am partially invisible okay I'm in this corner This is different. Okay, so it looks like the blue key. Okay, I see the blue key. I see this. Am I supposed to step up? Oh. Okay, got the blue key. And this will get me some more ammo. I don't really need it though. No, I really don't. Okay, so I got the blue key. I just don't know what I do with it. Huh. Oh, well. I got some ammo refill. Okay, 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 okay. I need to go this way. I need to take this early me right back out to there. I need to go answer it's a lot a punch that's two to twenty damage and has seven hundred and fifty health Cry Manelli. Alright. That's that's a lot of punches, damn. I wonder, so, so let's put that in there, that'd be, at least around 300 punches, if not a little more. I am going to keep saving, because I don't want to repeat all this. I'm a bit of a save scummer. Okay, that's not the right one. I believe there's a path you can take for all of them. We just have to find the right one. Damn it. I did it before. Did this one? Yeah. I swear I got through here. Did I hit the wrong tile? Okay, okay, we're back in that room. Oh, there you go. I was like, there's gotta, there's gotta be something there. I know that's the end of the world.
Period demon sounds for sure. Woo! Alright, that's the other level.